The game is about Jackal life and his quest to destroy life as we know it. Everyone in the game is based on someone I know. Kid, where are you? That's me. I can't make it stop! It's reading the game! Why is it reading the game? The cold steel kid, as I live and breathe. Which son of a gun? I'm doing, aren't I? If you get past this level, you'll still have your hands full with the others. wheels dude can I fill her up is that how you were trained to speak to customers to pepper your speech with profanities sorry would you care to take home a gasoline tanker with your purchase that's our neighbor of you son i believe i will i'll get you one no i'll get it what's with the glove it hides a slight cosmetic imperfection i tell him nobody would notice but he's the boss he's your boss Mr. Metcalf is everyone's boss, but not mine. Step down out of the cab, driver. You're punching out early today. It says who? Who the hell? I don't tolerate insubordination, mister. Not now, not ever. You're fired. Header against. Would, would you hold on one second? Thank you. Peter, we'll need to see your log. Um, gee, you, you know what, Dr. Chang? Um, actually, that's something that Gus should really sign off on, you know, personally. Um, but I, I tell you what, as soon as he calls, I, uh, I'll ask him, okay? Gus. Now she wants to see the logs. I'm telling you, our grant extension is going down the tubes. It's probably just routine. Show her a pie chart. They'll think we never sleep. I I'm glad you think this is so funny, Gus. I got 11 bucks in the bank. Uh, Gus, what is that? Uh, I come in peace. Pass. Fine. Let's cut through the crap, shall we? My dear, I come to ask you to join my ranks in an exciting executive capacity, of course. Did you say join? Be smart. I'm offering you the chance of a lifetime, the chance for a lifetime. Forget it. You'll have perks you never dreamed of. How does ruler of New York sound? As a signing bonus? You're worried, aren't you? You haven't won diddly since this stupid game started. So now you need an edge. I wasn't programmed to worry, my dear. And I don't need an edge. <laughs> I'll let myself out. Uh, 
What happened? It looks like it exploded. Do flowers explode, Harry? I think not. Now, no, no, what are you doing here? Um, well, uh, some time has passed since you called off the wedding, and I was hoping you could tell me why. Are you okay? Who was that guy? Uh, no one. Uh, he's, uh, the super. Pretty well dressed for a super. It, it, it's a classy building, Harry. Look, I don't want to dredge up all of this, this old wedding stuff. Uh, At least no. I deserve an explanation, Lauren. It, it, it's a character issue, Harry. You always need to please everyone. You want to please your mother. You want to please me. And, and you wind up being insincere. Insincere? I understand that. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You don't even defend yourself. You're just taking the easy way out. Coming back here and facing you is not taking the easy way out. And neither is admitting that what you said is true. not too late. Can I show you that I've changed? He's back. I know. He's back? I know. Hello, Gus. Harry. Where's your mom? I notice she's not stroking your thighs. She lives in Florida now, Palm Beach. I bought her a condo. You sent your mother to Florida? Kicking and screaming. So, to recap, your mother's in a condo and Lauren left you at the altar. Now, that second part, you didn't take that as some kind of hint? Gus! What? Look, I I'm really sorry that I've got to rush you. No, 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 it's okay. I'm just glad we had a chance to talk. Number hasn't changed. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. You were uh, whispering. So, did you call him or did he call you? He just showed up. And you'll note when people from my past show up, it's not with blueprints to destroy the universe. Well, aren't you Miss Perfect? My feeling is this Harry must be a very special friend. Let's take him hostage. Why? I take a hostage. I need a reason for the fire. He makes personal calls at the office. Then he deserves what he gets. Son, it's not safe out here anymore. Hey, oh. Afternoon, Harry. Allow me to give you a little. Okay, just just don't shoot, okay? I, I, I've got my wallet. I, I've got plenty of money. Never, ever conduct personal business on company time. <laughs> Harry, I know just what you're thinking. Is this one crazy afternoon, or what? Jekyll offered you New York, the city of the state. We didn't discuss the boundaries, Gus. What do you bring within this time? Mr. Metcalf, my first boss. He ran the games division of a small software firm. It was my dream job until he made me believe I was no good at it. So what happened? Didn't invite you to the company picnic? I worked seven months programming the Pony Express, and he fired me for the ten minutes it took him to play the game. He told me I should be driving gasoline tankers like his loser brother, Ed. He also didn't invite me to the company picnic. That's what I thought. Harry wants you back, doesn't he? Is that what he whispered to you right after he tried to suck the tongue out of your mouth? It was a peck on the cheek, Gus. Now, what's Metcalf gonna do? 
what all bosses from hell do. Destroy hopes and dreams. Yeah? How? By exploding a gasoline tanker into a target known for its creativity and experimentation. And this target? You wouldn't know what it is, of course. Okay, I know the drill. Okay, first we need to find a gasoline tanker. He's already got the tanker. Now we have to find the electronics store. What electronics store? I thought you knew the drill. I do know the drill. You said gasoline tanker, not electronics store. He's obviously not going to drive the tanker that's going to explode. So he needs the electronics store for the... For the... For the re... The re... The remote... The remote... The remote control. He needs a remote control to drive the tanker into the target known for its creativity and experimentation. Don't take this the wrong way, Gus. But was your Pony Express game this complicated? Hello? Dr. Chang did what? I can't believe she shut us down. We're one little grant among dozens. I'm a jackal tipped her off. Am I right or am I right? Well, of course you're right. If we're locked out of the lab, we'll have no way of sending her back. Newman Electronics on Dickens Street. Charles Dickens wrote Scrooge. Scrooge was the worst boss in literature. Have I mentioned sometimes you frighten me? So we're going to squirt Medcalf with red ink. Is that the idea here? Well, Metcalf was a bottom-line kind of guy. There's nothing he hated more than losing money. Right, and red ink means loss of money. I get that. It's like squirting kill shot in level one. Water hurt kill shot in level one. Ink didn't hurt kill shot. Kill shot could care less Gus, about I ink. I understand that. All I'm saying is that it's a little repetitive. I mean, we're even using the same squirt gun here. Am I crazy here? The two are totally unrelated. You know, ever since Harry showed up, she's been looking for an argument. Harry's back? Who called who? Does he still frighten you? Hey, it's tough keeping a business going these days. It's got to be Dickens Street. It's too perfect not to be Dickens. Hey, Gus, what about Radio Hut? They sell remote control stuff, and it's still on Dickens Street. Would you please let me think here? Hey, you! Stop! Just what kind of slipshod security operation are you running here, mister? You're fired. What the hell is that? What do you think it is? An exploding pink slip. Come on. What do I do? Fire! In this level, Jackal tries to destroy people's dreams. Just like Medcalf destroyed mine, I wanted a real person to represent that. Well, why Harry? What's Harry's dream? Oh, me. Don't worry, he'll be fine. As long as we stop Medcalf from getting the nitro. Nitro? Why are you always so surprised? In a game, you need moves. Move one, hijack a tanker. Move two, steal remote control to guide the tanker. Move three, get nitroglycerin to detonate the tanker. Except you have gasoline to detonate the tanker. You don't need the nitroglycerin. If you do need the nitroglycerin, then you don't need the gasoline tanker. Except for one thing. When I worked for Metcalf, he took nitro pills for his heart. Trust me. I have a gift for these things. There's Peter. Peter, I need the Metcalf tape. Why are you wearing a name tag? Well, I'll, I'll get the tape. There you go. What? Look. 
I told you, all right? I got rent to pay, I got bills, and with our grant gone... You're a salesman? We're at war here. First, let's win the war, then become a salesman. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, would, I would say this is probably the best heat gun on the market, you know? And uh, you can just... Listen, any research you need me to do, I can do right here. This place is loaded with software. Excuse me. Could we move along? I have an ex-fiancé who's about to explode. Yeah. Oh, man. So what's Metcalf's next move? He's got to pick up the nitro. <clears throat> hey, I was watching that. Were you? I'm sorry. Whoa, this is awesome. Is it a demo? Sort of. You, uh, you like it? Totally. But who's this dude with the metal arm? See, that's a deranged box. Half man, half computer. And those are exploding pink slips he's firing. Cool. But what's he gonna do? Wait. Is that where Metcalf gets the nitro? Parks and Pharmaceuticals? Yeah. That's a real place. I'll go run down the address. Now, see the gasoline tanker? Metcalf's is gonna smash that into a building. But first, he steals nitroglycerin to detonate it. Nitro. Now that is an excellent choice. But isn't it a little unnecessary? I mean, he's already got the gasoline. He doesn't need the nitro. Yeah, but first it's another move. Plus, it's a much more humongous explosion. <clears throat> cool, the boss dude bam. Very cool. Okay, guys, I got the address. Right. Let's go before he reads about the real thing in the paper. Not that he probably reads anymore. So, uh... Do you like this game? I mean, like, like you would actually buy it? Totally. When's it coming out? Uh, soon. This hostage taking, I like it. I like the feel of it. It feels right. No! You have questions. Who are you? Jackal. What do you want from me? You'll need to blow up. L look, I, I don't know what this is about, but, but if it's money... It's not money. Well, is it political? I mean, what good could killing me possibly do? I I'm nobody. You sell yourself short. I happen to know a lady who, after you explode, is going to be extremely irritated. You know my mother? Shop's all closed up for the day. Just a couple of guards inside. Look, if you could see me. Hey, hey, hey! There's no eating at your station, mister. And adjust that cap. Is this how you present yourself to the public? You're fired. Metcalf, you are one strict mid-level manager. Requisitioning one pint of nitroglycerin. Remember, use two hands. If we can't get into the lab, we'll never get rid of Jackal. Metcalf was right. If I were a tanker driver, none of this would have happened. What does Metcalf know? Should have seen that kid in Radio Hut going nuts over your game. One kid, and he wasn't going nuts. If you made a mistake, Gus, it was letting someone else make you give up your dreams. Listen, I'm sorry about Harry. Yeah, me too. Are you 
you're sorry because you'd be sorry for anyone in his situation, or because maybe he's more important to you than that? Certainly you shouldn't feel the need to answer that question. Straighten that time, mister. You want to dress like a ruffian, you dress like a ruffian at home. Not only that, I'm not sure firing a gun this close to nitroglycerin is all that advisable. Your feelings on the matter, Mr. Metcalf. Hey, stay with me. <laughs> Say, you mind if I borrow your gun? Okay, be careful. If you see Metcalf, give a yell. Don't worry. I was planning on it. You guys know that Nitro can make half the neighborhood disappear? Oh, thanks, but I've already got a plan. Let me tell you something, mister. If you work for me, I'd have your badge. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Harry? Harry? Please don't die. Please say you can hear me. You know, this sure smells like a cap gun. Hey, where's the blood? How come there's no blood? Cap gun. He must have fainted. I did not faint. Ugh. I banged my head against the wall. Oh. Dodging what I assumed were trigger-happy security guard bullets. I resent that. Now, will one of you two uncuff me? I got two nutcases running around here with a half a pint of nitro. So what was the cap gun, Gus? Jacko's little joke on me? You? Why you? Harry was here. But when I was going to him, I heard the shot. So you left him here to see if I was all right? Don't you dare turn this into some kind of victory dance, Gus. If you had been in the car and Harry had been where the shots were, I would have gone to him. But you weren't. You were fine. Now maybe I let Harry die. He's not gonna die. We'll just have to stop them at the target. Yeah, wherever that is. I understand your misgivings, Dr. Chang. Yes, but my associate failed to share with you the kind of exciting and explosive data that illustrates how close we are to success. Thank you, Dr. Chang. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Remind me to cook up some exciting and explosive data for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Which target best 
symbolizes a place known for its creativity and experimentation. I still say the Space Museum. Moon landings, space shuttles, they've even got footage from that Jupiter satellite. Bob Hope. Huh? His house? The House of Hope? Okay, okay. All right, tell me why not. I would need six weeks and hundreds of pens. Unfortunately, I've programmed the tanker to strike between 10 and 10.30 this morning. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Jackal, shouldn't you be strapping your hostage behind the wheel in preparation for this morning's explosion? Harry's going to be in the tanker? Just think, by now you could have been ruler of New York. Really? The city of the state. What is that smell? It smells like gasoline in here. Am I nuts, you guys? You smell that? Space Museum. That Jupiter satellite, right? Exeter Corp. Ah, the brain chip. Brain chip? What's that? Page three. First column. What, what, what about Bob Hope, though? Huh? A lot of people be pretty bummed out if you blew up Bob Hope. Oh, no question. Exeter to unveil brain chip at news conference this morning. It's a tiny computer chip that surgeons implant directly into the brain. Early tests show that it might help uh, some types of neurological disorders. Dozens of scientists using every ounce of their creative energies for the good of mankind. It turns my stomach. You don't actually expect us to believe you. You're just telling us all this so we go rushing off to Exeter while you and Metcalf blow up the real target. Charming woman. I do so look forward to level 28. Kid, don't say I didn't warn you. What happens in level 28, Gus? Ah, uh, I tell you, but you'd only get mad. Now, 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 we all think, without a doubt, Jack is lying about Exeter, right? Oh, yeah. Unless that's what he wants us to think. So we go somewhere else where he and Metcalf really do blow up Exeter. Y unless that's what he wants us to think. I mean, he knows that we don't believe him, and we know that he knows that we don't believe him. But he also knows that we know that he knows that we know that he knows that we don't believe him. Am I right? Don't get me right if I'm not right. Yikes. I'm late for work. Now's not the time to worry about making rent. I don't care. There is no way Jackal's telling us the truth. How could you believe that Jackal's telling us the truth? Because it's more fun for him to win if I'm there. That's why. Wouldn't it be just as much fun for him to trick you into not being there? The point is, no other target makes as much sense as Exeter. So, are you in love with him? I don't know, Gus. I didn't think I was, until I saw him again. I guess if I don't, don't know that I'm not, that maybe it means that I am. Well, of course, it could just mean that you're not. I know I don't have to say this, but you would never intentionally let anything happen to Harry, would you? Is that what you think? No, I, I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gus. Okay. Gus. Just the stress. Got the tanker!
didn't explode. I don't know. This stuff isn't nitro. Champagne. He said the tanker would be here. The tanker is here. So technically, he didn't lie. On the other hand, Jackal needs the tanker. It can't be here. Gus, does this game have a tilt? A tilt? Uh -huh. Like in pinball? Yeah. A game in pinball tilts when the machine is tilted. Do you think that's our situation here? I don't know what our situation is here, Gus. We've got Jackal's tanker. How do you explain that situation? I can't. Unless, of course, they stole another tanker we don't know about. Who are you calling? Peter. Maybe he's having more luck than we are. Radio Hut. Yes, Peter Rucker, please. My name is Gus Lloyd. Did he leave a message for me? No, but I can page him. No, that won't be necessary. Can you believe that guy? He goes to the Invention Expo, doesn't even leave a message. Gus, maybe it's at the Space Museum. Jackal had to be close to set up the tanker. He doesn't have time to get there by 10.30. Where's that list of targets? Oh. The Invention Expo. It'll be filled with people who've poured their hearts and souls into one-of-a-kind creations. Like your Pony Express thing. But Gus, they still don't have a tanker! Haven't I at least got a right to know why you're doing this? In a word, no. But I like you, Harry, so I'll go the extra mile. I needed a hostage. It's in the rules. If you have a problem with the rules, talk to the kid. Why do you keep referring to Gus Lloyd as the kid? And why do you keep talking about this like it's a game? Tell me, what will you mind most about blowing up? For instance, will you miss your lady? Yes. Very much so. Well, what would you say to her right now if she were here? I suppose I would tell her that my life was never better than when she was part of it. And never more meaningless than when she wasn't. And I'd tell her I love her. If I wasn't so unsentimental, I'd be all choked up right now. If it's Gus Lloyd you want, why take me? Look, let me go, and I'll bring him to your doorstep. Harry, Harry, Harry! It doesn't matter when I win, it's how I play the game. We're all loaded. Dreams. What a day to see them die. Are we gonna make it to the pump? I think we can coast in, yeah. I don't believe this. I'm gonna lose Harry because you forgot to get gas. I did not forget. Jackal siphoned the tank. Remember the gasoline smell this morning? Oh. Yeah. Damn, he's good. Gus, look. He's really good. Uh, would you guys please just 
to excuse me. Watch it with the kids, okay? Enjoy, and uh, we'll talk later. Okay, great. Tell me how we actually destroy that cat. You know when a computer crashes, that means it goes dead? Well, in the game, the Cold Steel Kid runs him down with a tanker. You don't have a tanker. I'm aware of that. We'll have to do the best we can with the ink shots. 10.29. Rush hour already. Is there a problem? You're drinking on company time. I own this company, Mr. Metcalf. Now turn them loose. Can't you just smell the sulfur, Mr. Metcalf? Gus, Gus, Jekyll and Metcalf are here. They have a booth. They have a booth? Peter, have you seen Harry? No, I haven't seen the tanker either. How could that be? The toy tanker. He must have filled it with nitro. Because there's dozens of them, man. They're everywhere. What is it? There's two toys. There must be on-off switches. Get out. White hat trying to kill you. I know. If I can crash this tanker into Metcalf, we'll win. How far away is Metcalf? I don't know, 50, 60 yards? It better be 50. Gus, Gus, he's, he's pointing that hand thing at his alarm. <laughs> oh, well. Guys like him are a dime a dozen. Kill shot. History. Evil surely. No problemo. Mr. Metcalf. Terminated. They're the most bizarre bunch of video game villains that ever walked off the screen and into reality. Gives me goosebumps. They're led by the evil Jackal. And week after week, they just keep on coming. He programmed in his own password. So who's next? Ask the guy who created them, because he's going to have to stop them. On the next Deadly Games, next week on UPN. Right there is where the particle accelerator had the meltdown. See, it simply couldn't handle the quantity of energy we were producing. Why didn't you apprise me of this earlier? Honestly, um, I had a sickness. You know, in the family. We're very close here. The car runs. Now let us find a way to get it out of the garage. 
Well, I, I realize that wasn't a very good analogy, but I think you get my point. All right, Gus. Yeah. You've got your grant extension. Thank you very much, Dr. Chang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Dr. Chang? You're a great boss. Thank you. <laughs> so, are uh, you sticking, or are you going to go back to Radio Hut? Oh, I am sticking, my friend, because you and Vicariously Me are one phone call away from being on the shelves of every toy store in this great land of ours. I'm not holding my breath. It's Lauren, am I right? Why, why didn't you just play her the tape? I mean, once she heard Harry trying to trade you to the dark side, that's it. He's history. I can't. If she wants the guy, she wants the guy. Where is it, anyway? What, the tape? Or am I the housekeeper? Just tell me. What, were you working undercover on a terrorist story? And why was Gus involved? Harry, it's really complicated. And I just need to know something first. Did you ever try and deal with your kidnapper? You know, anything. Whatever it took to get free. No. No. I just tried to be brave and hope for the best. All the time thinking that if I did die, my greatest regret would be never again kissing your lips. If it's Gus Lloyd you want, why take me? Let me go and I'll, I'll bring him to your doorstep. I'm embarrassed. And I certainly didn't mean what I said. I, I was desperate. So you tried to please them, and now you're trying to please me. Lauren, anyone would have done the same thing. I don't think so, Harry. Not everyone. Again. How's it feel? No skin off my nose. I got dozens more like Metcalf. Most of them not nearly as annoying. Thanks for the tape. Naturally, I was planning on your hearing Harry's moving words following his horrific death, but there's always next time. Save it, Jackal. It's over between us. Well, that's wonderful. I was planning on his obliteration in the near future, but if you're already in pain, so much the better. Yeah, well, congratulations. By the way, my offer still stands. New York still needs a ruler. The city or the state? Doesn't matter. Pass. My dear. You're making a very grave error. Very grave. Talk about a deadly game. There's a killer on the loose, and the News Brothers are on the case. They've got the camera, they've got the guts. But to face an armed psycho, they've got to be nuts. Get set for an all-new episode of Live Shot, coming up next.